with other species. Suppose uh, that's, that's what we have we have described we have uh, downloaded the sequence for human growth hormones. This is complex series that we have also uh, pasted it in this slide. You can see. So now I want to know which human. Uh, how the similar how this uh, sequence is similar with other species okay what are the relations similarity uh, relations between the species suppose from with mouse with chimpanzees or in case of fishes we can we know different types of fish are there so between the fishes what are, what is the similarity as their uh, gene so it should be uh, somewhat similar but uh, between the species it is also different so how much it is similar or between the species how it is closely related or it is diverse we can uh, able to understand what is the percentage of identity by doing this blast okay so for doing blast and this blast is also important for making phylogenetic tree uh, between the organisms okay for doing this blast we have to go to ncba uh, we have to write uh, Google that uh, we are to do nucleotide blast in sphere. Okay, so you can uh, see this. Uh, what is the full form of this blast? Uh, it is basic local alignment such to means we are uh, providing our input sequence. That is our sequence from wherever we got. Suppose this sequence is not, uh, not now it is known to us, but suppose it is not known to us. Okay, uh, suppose we have done a sequence uh, for this growth hormone. In any fishes, suppose in raw fishes, okay. After getting the sequence back from the company, okay, uh, one day we'll discuss how to do the sequence, uh, what is the procedure, and primary designing all these things. So suppose you have done a uh, Sanger sequence. So you got now your Sanger sequence from your company, any company, private company or any government company also. You got your sequence. So you want to know it is your growth hormone sequence. Is it sequence properly or not? So what do you will do? Suppose here we don't know what is the sequence. Suppose we don't have this. Only from the company, I got this sequence. Okay, only basically. So I want to know, is this uh, sequence is for growth hormones or not? We can do it using blast. Okay, because when we will blast it, it will show the similarity with the growth hormones in so Okay, if for your species it is available, then it will show 100% similarity for your species like human. Uh, for human or any other organism, if it's not present, so it will show similarity with the other species, maybe 90%, 95% like this. Okay, so uh, we will look into that. So for this purpose, we can use plus this basic local alignment such tools. So we can directly go into that here to take. Okay, we are going there. So it is an open. You can see different types of blast options are there also. So in that, uh, when uh, it is depend on that which type of query we are using and we are finding in which type of this. Like suppose we want to search here nucleotide data and nucleotide queries in nucleotide database. Means in this uh, nucleotide database means in NC NCBA. Whatever, whatever the data submitted by anyone from this world, okay, any from any research, any researcher, they have submitted the data, that is the database, okay. And so what we are doing, we are saying the NCBI that we have this database, we have this sequence, we, I got it from the company, I want to know, is there any sequence similarity with this in your database? So there we are doing. Uh, nucleotide blast. Okay, so it is nucleotide to nucleotide. So protein to protein, it is called protein blast. And then uh, we have blast X and T blast X also. Okay, so it is depend on your needs. Okay. So for our case, we will go for uh, nucleotide blast because we have nucleotide sequence. So what, what we can do, we can uh, suppose it is unknown sequence, maybe. Okay. You got from your sequence, uh, sequence uh, from your research. So after that, you have to copy it. You can simply paste it here. Or here you can see you have upload options also. There you have to make file like this. So directly this file also you can uh, upload. So in this case, only this person should be taken. Okay. So like that, or simply you can uh, copy and paste. 
So again, it, it is asking that from which region you want to search, okay? From uh, number one to the eight or any particular region you want to give, you can give it, okay? So you can give some job titles also here, okay? If you want, okay, alignment sequence, align two or more sequences, you can take here also. And you can see there are different types of blast options like blast N or nucleotide to nucleotide, blast P, blast X, D blast N, and T blast X. Okay, it is depend on what equipment you are using and which database you are searching. As we are searching here, nucleotide using RNA sequence, we are searching in nucleotide database. So it is blast N. Okay. So then we can able to see we are searching in uh, standard database. It is a nucleotide collections. Okay. We can give the organisms names also. If you don't know the organisms name, no need to add here. Okay. Then again, you can exclude some regions also and leave it to some sequence and type materials. Actually, no need of this or these things. Okay, you can give it as default. Then uh, so, uh, program selections, you can uh, uh, select this program according to your needs. So if you know that uh, this sequence may be a sequence for human or uh, your target organisms, you know, you can search for high similar sequence. Or if, if you have doubt about the uh, sequence, it's not uh, that much similar with any organisms, you can uh, choose other options like uh, some more similar sequence, or you can do it. Okay. So then uh, you can uh, click on this button that is blast. So here you can click. So if you click here, it will open in new window. If you don't click, it will open here. So better you can we can click in new window. Okay, we are clicking here and uh, we will start our list. Okay, it is started here. You can see. Okay. So depend on your internet speed, it will take time. You can see it is uh, searching. It is my request ID. And it is starting this time and tell they have given and how much uh, time it is taking. It is given here. Okay. So uh, now it is uh, searching. Okay. We can wait for a few seconds, then it will uh, tell. Okay. This time. So here, internet speed is very good. So it is done. So depending on your speed, it will do. Okay. Here, you can see this DNA sequence. What are the number of base pair? It is uh, uh, 200. Uh, 2657 base pairs. Okay. So here you can see. So here uh, in our case, we know the sequence it is human. If you don't know the sequence, also, if you take the sequence, okay, you can blast it. You can see here yeah, the main important thing is uh, uh, this uh, percentage similarity. It is see, it is 100% similarity because we know this sequence is human grown sequence. And this evil, evil means, means. You can search internet. What is the meaning of evil? You can write. So evil, it is expected value, is a parameter that describes the number of hits can one can expect it. Okay, to see by chance means uh, it is actually wrong. Okay, means it should be minimum. Means by chance this uh, base pair is making your database is making this uh, uh, error. Okay, so if it is less zero, it is that very good value. Evil should be zero okay and uh, the percentage of identity here it is 100 percent in other organisms with other organisms also you can see with gorilla it is also sequence it is showing similarity with 96 percent okay so this way we can uh, uh, search that uh, our particular genes is uh, which genes actually suppose we don't have we don't know the organisms we know only the sequence so we can uh, search the which organism it is. Okay. So we can also download the each sequence. If we click here, suppose this gorilla growth hormones locus complete sequence, it is given 96 percentage. Okay, we can click here in this uh, extra number. So directly we can go to the sequence. Here you can see it is gorilla gorilla. Okay, it is our closely related organism. So Last class we have discussed like this. We have all the sequence. You can see if you want to know, if you want to download the sequence, you have to go to the faster format. Then uh, you can directly copy paste this uh, sequence to your uh, 
text file or what you can do, you can uh, export this using uh, these options. Okay, we have discussed last time, so no need to discuss again. So if you want to uh, do it like that, and if you have to make uh, the phylogenetic tree, so you have to uh, download all the sequence, closely related sequence like human, Godzilla, sequences, all these things, then mouse, it should be there, you can see. Okay, so we have to download the sequence uh, from closely related individuals and uh, or some one uh, distance related individuals to make the phylogenetic tree. So for that, we have to download all, all the sequence, all the nuclear sequence, and we have to paste together in one text file, like uh, we can do it uh, like this. Suppose first sequence is this one, okay, human. Then sequence, uh, the next one is, I want to, uh, I want to download the sequence uh, from this question, okay. We can go here on this one also, we can. So here we can able to see is a sequence again. Uh, we can uh, go to the first apartment. Okay. So go to the first apartment and uh, you can then uh, copy paste this one here. Also, you can see if you want to run blast from here in the, this right side, you have options. Pick primer, primer. Suppose this is your DNA sequence. Uh, you want to uh, go for PCR. Polymer chain reactions, you want to amplify the sequence, you can uh, do it using this uh, primer designing tools also. Okay, we can do it. One day we'll discuss about that. Okay. So, here directly from here, this sequence you can blast. So, you can take the sequence for this one also. Here, what the things, descriptions is there. So, you can directly copy and paste this one. Okay. And that sequence you can see. Okay, so text file like this, uh, you can enter one, then you can paste it. Okay, if you can see. So if uh, it's greater than the sign means, it is different sequence. So it is uh, again different sequence, this human, this is your Godzilla. So another sequence you can, uh, you can again uh, put enter. Any other sequence also, you can able to download from here. Okay, suppose. This sequence I can download. Okay, or uh, this one I can download. So always you should download more than uh, ninety percent. So we can go for this one. Okay. So you have to click there and you have to download your desired sequence. If you want to make a little tree. So again, we have to we will go to pasta uh, program. And from first apartment, we can able to see. We can like copy this one and uh, paste to your text file. So here you can see. So this way, around uh, ten or ten organisms, all closely related organisms, you can uh, copy paste their sequence. Then uh, you have to do multiple alignment. Okay, after last we have uh, multiple. So for making phylogenetic tree, first you have to do multiple alignment. It means between the uh, among all these organisms, what is the percentage of similarity will learn? Okay, so next class we will discuss about the, uh, how to do this multiple sequence alignment and uh, how to make this phylogenetic tree. Okay, and the one thing to remember is for phylogenetic tree, how accurate it uh, we have. Uh, I made it so we need to take one uh, out group also like uh, suppose for pieces we are doing suppose for who we are doing so closely related pieces we will uh, take and we'll take another sort of human okay or for human we are doing we can take fish so because fish are human is distance related so we can see that uh, in another branch you know phylogenetic tree it will make that it will put that organism distance related organisms and all other closely related organisms they will be close together. Okay, so how we can do that? We'll learn in this class. There, how uh, we'll learn the, how to make your multiple sequence alignment. Okay, the, uh, uh, actually, we'll do it in Castle Omega only in online mode. Okay, so softwares also we can use. So that we'll learn. Later, we'll learn about the softwares like BioEdit or how to make a tree using Mega software, Mega 7 software. So that we will learn. Okay. So for today, that's all. Hope you have understand and it is helpful. Okay. So thank you very much.